morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. December 17th is my younger sister and her husband's wedding anniversary. And I was trying to think about how many years they've been married. Um, they got married the year before our youngest son was born. Uh, so that makes it 33. I was my sister's maid of honor and I didn't want to get pregnant before the wedding because I wanted to make sure my dress was going to fit. So he was born the following Halloween. Um, you can probably hear my furnace in the background. I hope it's not too distracting. It is chilly out there today. Uh, it started out quite bright. It has since uh, had a little bit more cloud come in. But the last I looked on my phone, I think it was minus three or four with a wind chill of minus 10. Um, that's Celsius, so uh, I'm not sure what it is in Fahrenheit, but zero Celsius is 32 Fahrenheit, so gives you some idea. Glad to be, uh, for the moment, in a warm, cozy house, but I do need to go out later on and run some errands. So as you will have seen, um, Cameron and I did the bulk of our gift wrapping last night. Uh, honestly, neither of us were very much in the mood for it, and by the time we were finished, so was I. <laughs> I was done, and I just made myself uh, sit down for a half hour before bed and knit on my Christmas socks, do something that wasn't for somebody else. Um, yeah, let's leave it there. I could go on a whole tirade, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> um, anyway, before we started wrapping, I sat down with a pen and paper and went through our, our um, list and realized that we still had a few things we needed to pick up. So I have to go out uh, to the bank and to a uh, few places to pick up gift cards and the pharmacy to pick up some prescriptions. There, the furnace is off now. It was uh, well, funny, it didn't seem funny at the time, but um, Cameron and I had stopped at the bank uh, last weekend to pick up some money for uh, several gifts. And so last night when we we're sitting down getting ready to wrap things up, I um, asked him if he would, would grab the money. And he's like, I don't have any money. Like, yes, he says, I gave it to you. And I was like, no, no, you didn't. Um, you did not give it to me. So then we start going through our wallets. I emptied out my purse. He's looking all over the place. And then it finally dawned on me that yes, we had stopped at the bank, but our, that branch is in what has become kind of a sketchy area and now they have uh, limited access to their bank machines and when we'd gone the bank machine access area was closed and so we never got the money which was quite a relief because I was thinking maybe he left the money in the machine and someone had gotten a lovely Christmas bonus, but no, that's not what happened. So I have to go to the bank today and, and get that money. Um, I am sitting here for a few minutes um, working on Cameron's slipper. As you can see, I'm about that far into the sole. I had hoped to do more on them last night, but he got home a little earlier than usual from work, so I can't work on them when he's around. So I thought I'd do a little bit on that and then I have to make some meatballs. It is um, the day of the annual Christmas lunch at one of the stores that he oversees here in town. And the manager there has requested my meatballs. This has become a yearly tradition except last year because they weren't allowed to have it because of COVID regulations. But um, this guy, uh, we met a number of years ago on a work trip. 
and um, he's a little bit younger, I think, than our youngest son. Anyway, we just hit it off, and uh, this is something I do for him. I wouldn't do it for just anybody, but I'm going to do that. So then Cameron's going to come by here probably around 1130 or so and pick them up and take them there and have lunch at that store. So um, in the past, sometimes I've gone and had lunch there too, but I'm not going to do that today. So um, why don't I finish this row and open up today's advent. I'm almost at the point where I have to, uh, it's so hard to see the black. I'm almost at the point where I have to decrease for the heel. So getting close to the sole being done. All right, day 17. And today's colorway is called Elven Glow. So that sounds really good. Like has lots of possibilities like um, grays, purples, um, reds, greens. I know we had that for sprites. I guess we'll find out. Ready? Ooh, that's pretty. Showing up maybe a little bit more goldy on screen. But it's like a goldy green through here, almost an um, almost an olivey green, and then this brown. But the brown has almost a purple cast to it. It's very nice and very aptly named. Oh, that's very pretty. Every day, it's like I wish I could knit this up right now. Um, <laughs> I've been. Putting the bags into this project bag, but I'm now getting to the point where the bag that they came in is much emptier than this bag. I should probably swap them out. I just realized now that we have our tree up, I could put my day 25 under the Christmas tree. I'm going to do that. Oh, let's see what time is it just after 11 I think I'm gonna go start those meatballs now and I'll check in with you a little later there. meatballs made I'm just gonna put them in the oven to keep them warm but of course I have to try one for quality control purposes yep they pass the furnace is on again I think it's going to be on a lot today. So Cameron has come and gone, and I've just been sitting here editing today's Vlogmas so far. I find it easier to do it in little bits throughout the day, and then it's not such a big job at the end of the day when I want to uh, produce it and put it up on YouTube. In any case, um, I just thought I should mention about the meatballs. I have shown how to make them in a previous vlogmas, and if I can track it down, I'll put it on the uh, little thing up here, if you're interested. And I will also post the recipe on the show notes on Ravelry and the blog, and also in the down bar underneath this episode on YouTube. Uh, it is a super easy and really delicious recipe that I got from my sister years ago. Um, the recipe calls for homemade meatballs, but I usually skip that step and just use frozen ones from the store. Uh, this dish always just disappears every time I take it to a party. So um, if you're looking for an easy appetizer uh, for this holiday season, I can highly recommend this one. Of course, now the furnace goes off. Anyway, I have my to-do list. I have five places I have to visit. So I'm going to try and run through those errands as quickly as possible so I can get back home again and get back to work on Cameron's slippers. So, um, yeah, see you later. It's just around 3.30, and as you can see, I'm home again. 
Uh, it took me a few more stops than planned to uh, get everything I needed, but I did manage to finish my errands and have had some lunch. And then I was going to start working on Cameron's slippers when guess who walked in the door and uh, decided to work from home for the rest of the day. So I have sent him downstairs so that I can at least get something done and he's been warned to let me know when he's on his way up. Um, so I had a really uh, nice surprise when I was uh, picking up our prescriptions. I ran into our daughter and our youngest granddaughter. Uh, Jessica works at this particular pharmacy, but not usually at this the branch that we go to. Uh, but um, she's been off work for the last couple of days because our granddaughter's been, um, she's had a mild cold and isn't allowed to go to school under current uh, COVID regulations. And so because Jess was running some errands um, in the next city over, she offered to do some deliveries while she was at it. So. We just happened to catch each other at the right time. If I'd been there five minutes earlier or five minutes later, we would have completely missed each other. So that was a nice bright spot in my day. Um, a not so bright spot is that uh, BC has announced some new COVID restrictions in light of the uh, Omicron variant that has found its way into our province as it has so many places around the world. So one of the regulations affects gathering sizes. And as a result, our big family Christmas get together that we planned for the 28th has had to be canceled because um, there's just too many of us. And even though we're all vaccinated, we have to still, uh, you know, follow the rules plus Maybe it's not the best time to gather in such big numbers anyway. So that's very unfortunate, but we're going to plan something for a later date. Um, as what I was talking about on uh, my regular episode um, the other day is just since COVID, we've just really had to learn to not get our hearts set too much on any plans and we just have to roll with the punches because things are always changing. So um, at the moment it shouldn't affect our travel plans for uh, around New Year's. Um, we might have to rethink whether or not we want to go see Cameron's mom uh, even though at this moment we are allowed to. Um, we'll just have to see. We certainly don't want to put her or any of the other residents in potential danger. Um, I know a couple of my sisters are very excited because they're getting their COVID booster shots on the weekend. Uh, Cameron's and mine will still be a little bit longer, but hopefully uh, within the next few weeks. That would be good and just make us feel that, that much safer. I think I'm going to kind of end Vlogmas here for today, but of course I'll do my something good. And uh, my something good for today is Christmas books. And I've brought up a few favorites. I think I've shown some of these on past Vlogmas episodes, um, you know, in other years, but I know there are a lot of new people here and you might be interested. So this one first, while I was growing up, we had this big coil bound copy of this book. It belonged to my oldest sister and it was quite worn out. Um, we loved it and they had some pop-ups in it. Oh, I guess this one does too. I've forgotten that. It's the wise men. So let me see. Oh yeah, this is different. They. I think the one in, in her book was different. I know there was a star. Oh yeah, I guess it does have. I haven't looked at this for a while. Yeah, see that comes up with the angel. I seem to remember a big star, I think in the middle of the book, or maybe at the end. Anyway, um, we still love this book. And um, a few years ago, uh, my 
one of my sisters found it and ordered one for all of us so we would have it again. Isn't that cute? So yeah, this is uh, uh, it's very fond memories for me. As for our kids, I wanted a really nice a copy of The Night Before Christmas. We had a really nice one growing up um, and I wanted my kids to have one. So I had found this one with these really, really nice illustrations. Look at that cute little mouse. You can see the spine's a bit broken. It's been read <laughs> a number of times over the years. But yeah, this one had really nice illustrations. And then this one, I think my daughter received one year as a gift and has some really neat things. This one is broken, but there are these little things that shift. So if you pull that, it changes from the, what is this one? Three, three French hens to the four calling Oh, yeah, we're calling birds. I thought I had it wrong for a second. So that's cool. Yeah, here's the seven swans of swimming and 60 swimming, I guess. So that's a really neat one. And then this is probably our best loved Christmas book around here. And you can see from the condition of this that it has been mended and it has been read and read and read. Not only was this a favorite of my kids, I think this was actually a book that I bought for our youngest son, uh, but the grandkids loved this book. <laughs> Look at this. It is just in tatters, but this was like a favorite. So sometimes, you know, the most simple things can bring the most joy. I was just trying to see if there was an actual price tag on here, but there isn't. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's when I got it. So that's my something good for today is Christmas books. I always put them away and only brought them out at Christmas time, except this one. It, it was out all year and got read you know, in the middle of summer. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I love that the kids like to read and um, that's one of my favorite things to do, um, both with my kids at the time and with my young grandkids, is I love reading to them. Uh, now, our youngest one is the only one who sometimes wants a story, of course, but I do enjoy reading with the kids. All right, I think I'm gonna get this up and uh, running and then I'm going to turn my attention to those slippers. Plus it's happy night tonight. So nice relaxing. Well, I think we're going to finish our wrapping tonight. Combine wine and wrapping. Maybe that's a better combination than last night. <laughs> I only had tea. Maybe I needed wine. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get the last little bit of wrapping done and then uh, just enjoy our Friday night because tomorrow is going to be um, another busy day. So um, I'll see you then for Vlogmas Day 18. Uh, have a good night.